everyone, this is Lee Tong Liu from Biden's. Today, I'm going to present my talk titled Spark AQE School Chain Optimization and Practice in Biden's. First, an introduction. I'm Lee Tong Liu. I'm a software engineer working on Spark iBiden's in our data engine team. Our team is responsible for LAS, which is short for Lake House Analytic. Spark is one of the most important engines for LAS. The improvements demonstrated in this session are launched on LAS, and you can try LAS on Velka Engine, which is a Chinese public cloud platform. Let's take a look at the agenda. Today's agenda will start with background and motivation talking about issues about enabling school join optimization in practice. Then we discuss about the enhancements we made to Spark Engine with respect to school join, and we take these enhancements into practice in Biden's. Then we will share some of the learning we got in process of enabling school join with user guidance, and finally conclude with summary. Okay, let's take a quick peek at the school join optimization. For those of us who are not aware of school join optimization within Spark, the general idea of Spark AQE queries acquisition, the general idea of Spark adaptive query acquisition is to dynamically optimize and modify the physical acquisition plan of the stage. The statistics upstream of the upstream stage at the end of the acquisition is used to optimize the physical acquisition plan of the downstream stage. Spark AQE can calculate the shuffle input of each reduced task based on statistic of all map tasks before the stage is submitted for acquisition. Therefore, Spark AQE can automatically discover the join with school data and deal with it. As we can see, table A in the joins table B and the partition A0 in table A is a school partition. Task zero will become a long tail task because it's school join. Before Spark execute A join B, Spark will find that the data are schooled and split the data of A0 into N copies and deal with it with n tasks. Each task will only read part shovel data of several map tasks, as shown in the figure below, where A0 0 will only read the data that belongs to A0 from map task 0. Then this n task will read the data of partition 0 in table B and join. It can be seen that in such dealing process, partition zero in table B will be read n times, which increase additional causes. However, the benefits brought by dealing with school data through n tasks will still overweigh the costs. Let's now look at the motivation of our talk. Although in AQE school join can handle school join in most cases, we still find some issues of AQE school join in our practice. First one, inaccurate statistic, which cause failure in identifying data school. Second, uneven segmentation based on highly compressed shuffle statistics will lead to unsatisfactory school join processing. Third, AQE school join does not support complex scenarios such as continuously join in same stage originally. I will detail the problem and how we handle it in next Spark enhancement. From the fundamentals of the Spark AQE school join, it can be seen that the ability of identifying data school and splitting school data depends on the accuracy of the statistical data of shovel stage. The more accurate the statistical data, the highly higher the ability to identify and deal with the data school. After the acquisition of map stage, 
each map task will generate the statistical result map status. After send and send it to the driver, map status maintains an array with lots of reduced tasks to re record the data belongs to each downstream reduced task. After the driver collects the map status, all of all the map tasks, the input data size of each reduced task can be calculated according to the data of each reduced task. Spark AQE can detect the school data and reasonably segment the reduced task. As described in the figure, shuffle rate of reduced task bureau is 200, which is greater than others. Reduced task zero can be divided into two parts. Reduced task zero, zero really reads the data of map task zero and uh, map task one. The reduced task zero, one reads the data of max task two and three. After splitting, each re shuffle read of two tasks is 100. It can be seen that the space complexity of the size of statistic is M multiplied R. We are job with a large quantity of map task and reduced task will occupy a large amount of memory. So Spark placed some limitations for map status. When the number of reduced tasks is greater than Spark shuffle mean number, partitions to highly compress, which is 2000 by default, map status will be forcefully compressed to highly compressed map status at the expense of the accuracy of the data. Because highly compressed map status will replace all blocks which, has, which are smaller than Spark Shuffle accurate blocks threshold, which is 100 megabytes by default, with one average value. For example, the figure below shows a job of school join that does not take effect. Same for other running metrics, the shuffle rate is school, which is consistent with the scenario in which school join take effect. However, it does not take effect. From the logs, it can be seen that the median and max values of shuffle partitions on both sides of the join obtained by Spark AQE are the same. Because all map status compressed to highly compressed map status and lost accuracy, after we try to increase the mean number partitions to highly compressed, make sure all map status map task report to driver will not be highly compressed. Some large jobs failed because to uh, due to the increased usage of drive memory. To solve this problem, some optimization were made as followed. Each time driver receives the detailed map status, it first uses the data to update accumulative input data of each reduced task, and then highly compress it. Number two, map, map status will undergo decompression twice in the previously optimization, which is a CPU consuming operation. For large jobs, the driver CPU may be fully occupied and cannot process the executor heartbeat, which will lead to the failure of the job. Therefore, cache are used to ensure that each map task will only be decompressed once, which greatly reduces overhead brought by the optimization. Through the above mentioned optimization, we have successfully adjusted the default threshold from 2000 to 6000, which ensuring the school data, if any, can be accurately identified in 96.6% .6 of all Spark jobs in Binance. Second enhancement is to improve the uniformity of segmentation of SKU data. Since highly compressed map status will replace all blocks which are smaller than accurate block threshold with one average value, the data distribution of each reduced task 
calculate through highly compressed map status will be quite different from actual distribution. For example, the actual data, total data of reduced task zero is 1,100 megabytes, and the median is 100 megabytes. Reduced task zero is expected to split into 11 parts, with each of which is 100 meg. At this time, there are 100 meg tasks. The data came from meg task zero is 110 megabytes, while the data of other 99 map tasks are only 10 megabytes. After all map status are highly compressed, the distribution of reduced task zero obtained by EQE, that is, the data of map task zero is 110 megabytes because it's greater than an accurate block threshold while the data of other 99 map tasks are one megabytes because all of them build with average value due, during highly compression. So according to this distribution, Spark AQE will split reduce zero into two subtasks, which is reduce task zero, zero, read, reduce, read, read map task zero, and reduce task there are one with the remaining 99 map tasks. Our improvement is used to use using the accurate total data size of reduced tasks to deduce the corresponding data size from each map task and obtain the more accurate distribution. Using the same example as mentioned before, the actual total data of reduced task zero is 1100 megabytes and the threshold is 100 megabytes. It can be determined that the data from map task zero is accurate because it is greater than the threshold, while the data of the other 99 map tasks are not accurate. At this time, AQE will not use the highly compressed data, but it deduces the data belongs to the reduced task zero from other 99 map tasks through the total data, 1,100 megabytes. Although it is also a average value with error, it, can, it would be more accurate than highly compressed data. Henceforth, AQE will split reduce tax zero into 10 subtasks according to the expect value of 100 megabytes, which meets our expectation. The following figure shows a job is a unsatisfactory school processing fact. After school join takes in fact, the median and the max value of the stage shuffle rate size is 4 megabytes and 9.9 .9 gigabytes respectively. After the optimization we made, the median and the max value of the shuffle rate size of this stage is 149 megabytes and 1,427 megabytes, respectively. The scoot partition is more evenly divided, and the running time of this stage is reduced from two hours to 20 minutes. The third enhancement is supporting more complex scenarios. Origin Spark AQE Scoot Join can only support scenarios where only one regular Solmer join in one stage. We found more scenarios need to be supported in practice. Scenario 1 Join with aggregate or window. Take the figure below as an example. Although stage 10 has only one Solmer join, on one side of join is not a combination of sort and exchange, but one aggregate operator or window operator. Scenario 2, multiple join. As shown in the figure below, there are multiple continuously solder join in stage 21, which cannot be optimized originally. Scenario 3, multiple join with union. As shown in the figure below, 
It is there is a union in the speech whose children contain so much joy. Beyond that, we also support AQE skill join with bucket join, shuffle hash join, and multiple join with aggregate aggregate or window. With all these enhancements we made in Binance, there are over twelve thousand Spark application has been covered by optimizing per day. The performance of the covered application improved by. Thirty-five percent by average, and thirty、uh, percent of the covered application belongs to the scenario we support in Binance. Now we want to discuss under what situation AQE skill join cannot help. The first case is most data in skilled partition came from one mapper, and Spark cannot split data from one mapper. The second. Is the skewed side of join contains operator which has specified required distribution such as window or aggregate. The third is skewed broadcast hash join. Also, there are some situations AQE skewed join does not perform well. In other words, the skewed partition is not evenly split enough. There are some actions we can do. Increase Spark Shuffle mean number partitions to highly compress to make sure it equals to number shuffle partitions of Spark application. Reduce Spark Shuffle accurate block threshold to value small enough, such as four megabytes, which, however, would increase memory usage of driver. Reduce Spark Circle. Adaptive skewed join skewed partition factor. Now we want to summarize our talk. In Binance, we made some enhancements about Spark AQE skewed join, improve the ability to identify data skew, improve the uniformity of segmentation of the skew data, support more complex scenarios. And we introduce our practice about AQE skill join in Binance. Over twelve thousand Spark applications benefit from the optimization per day. Thirty percent of them belongs to the scenario we support, and the performance of the covered application improved by thirty-five percent by average. In this talk, we have shared user guidance about. What situation AQE skew join cannot help, and what can we do if AQE skew join does not perform well? So this is the end of our presentation. We welcome your feedback. Thank you.